welcome back to my channel and welcome to our new backdrop for the videos. Um, today we'll be just walking through a makeover of this hutch and I'm very excited to share with you how I got this. As you all know, I love Auction Ninja. Um, it's, it's an estate sale auction. Um, that you can find anywhere in the country based on where you live. I often look for items there because I, I can get really good prices. Um, so I went on one of the auctions and I was looking for, I can't remember what it was. I, I was, I was bidding on a, a rug um, and I got it for a pretty good price. And I ended up bidding $2 on this hutch. Didn't think I would win. I, I, and I actually kind of forgot about it. I didn't keep bidding. Um, but it was really close to the end of the auction sale. I bid $2. And then lo and behold, I won that auction. Um, um, and I was just kind of shocked because it's a, it's a really nice hutch. It's good condition for $2. Um, so I, you know, I had to go pick it up. So we had to take our van over to pick it up, but definitely worth the price for such a good piece. And I had been looking for, um, I definitely need more storage space in this kitchen. Um, you know, before I had like the pantry of a bunch of stuff, mostly dried goods and lecheritas food and some other um, storage for my kitchen items. It was definitely a good um, a good find for $2. It was a wood color and I'm actually not a huge fan of painting wood. Um, I like the natural wood tones, um, but in this kitchen, this kitchen is pretty light um, and I like to keep it that way. Most of the wood tones are in my living room. Um, so. I had decided that I would paint this hutch. So um, I looked at some colors um, at Benjamin Moore. Mostly I look at the historic um, colors and Pinterest and what other um, people are recommending. And this is a comb gray. Um, so it's a little bit gray slash beige um, and um, it's one of their historical line colors. Um, and I decided I'm just gonna go with that. Um, plus some of the, the, the hutch had a couple of dings um, in the wood. So I ended up not feeling so bad about painting it. Um, and I actually love it in here. I feel like if I had brought in the natural wood color here, it would be a little bit too dark for this space um and and since my kitchen cabinets are white the the color in my space is is a, a stone point gray i think from sherman williams um it's a pretty light kitchen already so i think this looks good uh and i just had a great time picking this up sanding it down and painting it it was a quick one week project um, and it was relatively easy and fun to put together. So uh, here is my hutch and I'd love to go through this video with you and make it over and style it. Mm -hmm. out the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the you guys my sister just dropped by and she was like come outside I have to give you something and I was like what and I I came outside she gave me a Marshall's bag and guess what I pulled out If any of you know Frog and Toad, this is like such 
a nostalgic moment for me. I loved Frog and Toad, the book series, and like learned to read with that book series. And this is just like the sweetest gift ever. Um, and whenever I'm at the thrift store, I look for the Frog and Toad series, um, even on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so <laughs> this is at Marshall's that I just can't, like it's the perfect fall shirt. Um, what a sweet gift for my sister. I just had to share this. I love it. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Everything is turning into gold When the autumn leaves are playing chasing Puts a smile up on my face They leave their branches one by one Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November Turn the world around us into gold
the roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the night And I can feel the sun on my This morning has so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Tomorrow there's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today is a good day to What I'm loving is kind of the the country feel. I love that it has these windows, the brass knobs, and now I can kind of see where all my items are. Um, so all of Lecherita stuff is in here, um, and my dry goods are in here. And then I have this little shelf unit where I can kind of display all of my thrifted finds um, or my estate sale finds. I actually have found a lot of this stuff at estate sales and I could never display them. I just didn't have a lot of room so they would be like tucked into my my little island. Um, so for example, I found these last year um, at on auction and at an estate sale. They were six dollars for the pair um, and you know I just keep keep some items in here. Um, of course, you know, I love my copper uh, pieces, so I did still want to display them. I mean, I am a little bit sad about 
kind of losing some wall space. So I needed to make sure that I could still display my, my copper items. So I just nailed them in there. Um, I found this at a uh, little church rummage sale for a dollar. Um, and I just love this little oil lamp. Um, so I just love displaying everything up here. Little honeycombs that have also come from an estate sale and auction ninja. Uh, I also, I found this at a Goodwill for $3 or two, two, maybe $2 um, at a Goodwill some time ago. Um, these are from Goodwill, uh, probably $2 a piece. Um, so I found these. These I also found at an estate sale last year and they were just up on my pantry and you couldn't really see them. So now they, they have a little display here. I also love that I'm able to put my books out. Um, and remember when I found this at Goodwill, um, it's a, a, a vintage uh, tray for food. So I kind of corral my books in here. Um, I keep my coffee. Uh, pods in here. This is from Goodwill. Um, this, I think these back ones are from Facebook Marketplace. Um, and um, I actually really do use those dishes, but um, I'm switching out for Christmas, uh, not Christmas, like the, the fall season. Um, and so not using them as much, but I did want to put them up. So um, I, I put those up with some command strips. Um, and then, you know, little, little things that I found at Goodwill. This is from Goodwill. This is from Goodwill. Um, I have like my little chicken that I found at an estate sale with my eggs in there and just a cutting board. Um, and then a couple of pieces up here. Uh, so those, these like fake English vines came with the, um, with the hutch, so there was a bunch of free items, but I put my cop my copper teapot up there. Um, that set of enamel cooking ware is also from the same estate sale. I think it was $12 for that set, and I just thought that was such a beautiful um, set of cookware. Um, so I really wanted to get that. Um, also another plant with the, you know, a fake, English vine. Um, so I just placed them up there um, and a couple of other items. And then I ended up just um, moving my water cooler over on this corner and I put, I, I had to bring in a bunch of my plants. So I have this huge Monstera that I don't have a place for um, in the rest of my home. So I, I propped it there. Um, I know it's a little bit dark right now, but um, my Monstera will live there for the season. Um, and I found that at Goodwill um, maybe like two years ago and it's, it's just been tucked away. So I, I made sure to take it out for the fall and I put um, some, some dried goods from Trader Joe's. And of course I have my little art displays um, from Goodwill and estate sales also hung um, a couple of um, you know tea tea cups there um, so I, I also love that I'm able to hang up um, some of my my mugs and then I got my KitchenAid I put it here this has been my my wall backdrop for a while now and I was still able to keep it up so I'm glad about that um, the only thing that was a little bit sad is I didn't have enough room to put all of my um, copper items together so um, and then not enough wall space so I ended up um, deciding to plate to display them on this side of the hutch um, and you know maybe that's a little bit weird but I just love to look at my copper so I ended up just using this as another area to display um, my colander and another um, jello mold and I, I kept this the same so I still have like my little artwork which this is just um, some Amazon like vintage prints 
um, cards actually that you could just buy little frames in and, and put them in. So if you like this display, look on Amazon for some vintage cards um, and, and you'll find them and they're relatively cheap and these little um, frames are also from Amazon, very cheap. Um, and then I have like my art piece I found at Goodwill. Um, it's a, a sketch of some pigs. I love farm animals. Um, and then I still have my little display of copper utensils here and my apron and some um, measuring cups it's for snacks and dish towels and, you know, Tupperware. Um, so I'm able to use utilize that so i hope you all found that inspirational please you know don't sleep on auction ninja or different estate sales you could get good prices for pieces of furniture like this um i mean two dollars is a complete steal um but then you know you have to go pick it up and um i'm i'm very grateful that i have um a van that i can go pick items up with but um you know, and then it uh, investing in the paint to make it, you know, match your home. Um, but that's, I think it's worth it. And I, it took about half a gallon of paint to, to make this and it's three coats of paint. This explains why I have a new kind of backdrop for my videos. In the next upload, we'll be doing some more fall decor, maybe some Halloween decor and a thrift haul. Um, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.